Welcome to a new Google Sheet video in Practical Sheets. Today I'm going to answer a very specific question from a Patreon in the Patreon page at Practical Sheets that you can see in the description if you want to access all the templates of the more than 150 videos I have in the channel and to ask me anything about the templates. And another advantage is this, you can ask me to do a video and I will. you will be the first in line. So what we're going to do today, let's take a quick tour we're going to have a very specific table where only one of my columns will have a value. The, the thing is, I don't know which of them has it. So it could be the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. So I want to flatten this result because many times when you have Excel's, very old Excel's or, or things that come from a Google form or from a specific database, they come in this format. So what I want to do is flatten it so that if I have four possible buyers, four possible products, four possible students, whatever, but only one of them will be filled out, I want it to flatten it out in just one column. Um, we're going to see it with a couple of formulas. The easiest one will be ifs, a bit more complex, but to, to teach you about this new family of functions in Google Sheets will be reduced. And finally, we're going to do it with Google Apps Script so you can automate this anytime you want. So I know it's very specific, but I hope it works for some of you or if you just want to learn new functions, new codes. This will be useful. It's not so long. Before we begin, let me invite you to subscribe to the channel or better yet, go to the Patreon page where you can download these and more than 150 templates from the channel. And before starting, let me thank all my Patreons. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you so much and let's begin. I always try to begin from scratch, but in this case, we're going to, to begin from an example, very similar to an example that a Patreon of mine gave me. And I'm going to address this in this video. This is one of the advantages of, of being a patron. So this is a very horrible database that be because it comes from another person or maybe is the way that your Google Forms is structured so that the, that the answers come like this. Basically, you have, let's say you have multiple buyers, but what you did is created different questions from the buyer. And you're always going to have only of these four columns, only one will be filled out. Okay. So, but you, it's very difficult to know which is the one. So what I want to do or what the Patreon wants to do, it's to, in one column, have this the value that, that that is valid the value of the buyer instead of having four columns we're going to try to flatten it to one there are multiple ways of doing this from a very complex but simpler to understand if structure if this is empty and this is empty and this is empty he goes cell by cell seeing which one is the one that it's empty and it will choose the one that is not empty let's say if this is uh different that empty then and we can do it with an ifs so that it multiple ifs so the first one the first condition if that is that this is different than empty if this is real then we're going to choose this second one is c1 if c different than empty then let's choose c2 and so on and so forth if d2 different than empty then D2 and finally if E2 different than empty then oh well actually this well let's leave it like this E2 let's close it and here is John and we have Mike and Andrew and Lisa and this is the simplest way of doing it I'm going to make it very very complex just for you to understand this new set of formulas that sheets and Excel are bringing to us so I'm going to do it with a reduce function this is a reduce function that needs an initial value. The initial value will be empty. Then we're going to choose a range that will be this one. Then we're going to create a lambda function. I'm going to make an introductory video to lambda so you can understand better how this works. So basically, it's a, an array formula function that where you can give any function you want, create a new function in this lambda or a new formula. So for this reduce, I need two things. Re what reduce does is that it goes first to this one, then it's 
the second one and it will do something taking the accumulate the cumulative value and the, the current one and then to the third one and it gets the new cumulative and does something with the current so we need two variables the accumulated value we can call it acc and the current value we can call it per and we're going to do something with it what can we do we could just say you know what just concatenate the accumulated with the current one and that's it let's hit enter let's remove the other field and let's drag it down and it will also work okay very simple way of removing spaces now we're going to do it with a google Apps script very simple so let's go to our app script let's call these ifs call this reduce and let's call this gis extensions app script remove blank spaces Let's connect with a spreadsheet app then with an with our active spreadsheet then with our with the sheet that i want in this case the sheet that i want doesn't have a name let's call it data so we can connect to it with the get sheet by name and the name is data now i'm going to get a range from this sheet so First, let's, let's store this sheet in a variable called data ss. And now I'm going to access this data ss and go to the get range method. So I could go to the range I want. The range I want will be, in this case, will be this one. So we're going to begin in row two and column two. First the row, then the column. And then you're going to go to row five rows down and four columns right we're going to get the values okay let's call this data array now what i want to do with this data array i want to go row by row and just extract this one so there are many ways we could do it the easiest way is for me is data array dot for each because the data array has two dimensions the first dimension is the columns and the second dimension is the rows so first we're going to go row by row so for each row we're going to do something and the thing we're going to do is to look for the non-empty cell you can do it in a number of ways the easiest way will be to go row dot find and we're going to find through the columns the column that is not empty column different than empty and we can create a new let's say a buyers it's a simple array and we're going to push each time we find it buyers dot push and we're going to push the value that it found. Let's see what does our buyer array looks like. I know this may be a bit advanced if you haven't tried Google Apps Script, so just bear with me. Let's see if it works. Let's run it. Do a bit of zoom out. I need some permissions the first time. I choose my account. Advanced. Go to Untitled Project. Should have given it a name. Allow. And here is John Mike Andrew Lisa Andrew. It was simpler than I thought. Maybe I'm going to just push this inside an array. Let's run it again. Perfect. Now this is what I want to push here. So once I have my array, my buyer's array, I'm going to say data ss dot get range. Now I'm not going to start in, I'm going to start in the same row two, row two, but not in the column two, but in my case, three, four, five, six, seven, in column eight. How many rows down? The same rows that my buyers array has. So for this, I'm going to say buyers dot length. And finally, I just need one column. That's it. And I'm going to say dot set values and include my buyer survey save it 
and let's run one time. Let's see, and you can have, see it. Let's change this for Mary, and let's do product six. For this to work in product six, I'm going to change another thing. Let's do Andrew here also. In my case of the formulas, I will need to drag them down manually or maybe using arrays, another type of array, we could drag them down a bit more. In the case of my Google Apps script, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this number five. I'm going to change it for data, very similar to what I did here to length, but with another method, data ss dot get less row. But given that I have one header, I'm going to subtract. Let's save it and let's run it again. And here it is. And finally, what you could do is you could maybe have a menu here where you can call your function every time you like or a button, or you can run this function every time the, the file is opened with um, an open, very similar, very simple here. You could do it, function, and open. And my unopen, I'm going to always call remove blank spaces every time the file is open. So let's save it. Let's write one time. I'm going to change this. It's not Andrew. It's um John. And here Mike is not here, but here we have uh, Lisa also. So the nice thing about the formulas is that they update every time. But the nice thing about this is that maybe you want to replace this by this. So in this case, the code, th this is why I'm leaving you all options so you can choose which works better for your project. So let's make sure it's saved. I'm going to close it and refresh it and see if my GAS column updates and apparently it did. Very simple, very specific problem. I hope it serves the, um, the Patreon that asks. Thank you for this and if it serves any anyone else better yet thank you so much for seeing and if you want to take a walk through the patreon to see all the templates i have for you and we can you can ask me anything about the templates or if you just want to subscribe or start a conversation here in the comments or give a thumbs up it's also very welcome thank you so much especially to my patrons see you next time